Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought that I should do an update video on everything that's been going on on the property and in my life for the past couple months because I've been pretty quiet here on YouTube, but that's just because we've had so much going on. So I thought that I would tell you guys what all's been going on and I've been filming clips here and there of projects and things we've been doing. So yeah, I thought I would make this video to kind of update you guys. So let's get the bad news out of the way. So the first thing I wanted to tell you guys that happened is, um, unfor unfortunately, um, I did lose one of my goldfish. So I had mentioned in a previous video that biscuit was not doing well. She would kind of have these weird flares with on her scales of kind of like an infection. Um, and it came back. So I kept getting rid of it and it would come back a couple months later. And we kind of did that for about a year. It would like go away and come back and I would medicate her and it'd go away. And it was just kind of like something under the surface that just kept rearing its ugly head or something. You can see here the infection in her scales. I treated her for a couple weeks. Um, we did the quarantine tote and um, I even set up her own tank, which I'm gonna show you in a second. As you can see, Bagel is doing great. Whatever was afflicting her for a year um, didn't affect Bagel. It was definitely something with her specifically because Bagel's still doing amazing. And here is Biscuit in her new tank. I know this looks so sad and so pitiful and it, honestly it is. And I don't know how this is gonna end, but I am really hoping that she turns around. I know this looks so sad and I know like quality of life, all the things, but she is infection free. And every time I get close to the tank, she gets really excited food and see, she gets excited when she sees me and she tries to swim and she can get around. You can see there, she can get around um, so she can eat and she definitely tries to right herself, you know, and I'm hoping one day she can. I just don't feel comfortable putting her down or euthanizing her uh, myself, which I can, but I don't want to. So I'm doing everything I can to get this swim bladder under control. She knows they're over here. She's getting excited. And Long story short, um, I, I kept it at bay for about a year, but unfortunately, Biscuit did pass away. Um, it was, uh, it wasn't really unexpected. I wish I could say it was, but I knew that that infection or whatever would probably take her out eventually. We fought it for a year, so I feel really good knowing that I gave her a little bit more time, but unfortunately, the infection came back and then she stopped responding to the medicine and that was really it. Um, but we did do the best that we could and we tried really hard. Um, I tried so hard to fight it uh, that last time, but it was really difficult and it was like, it was just, it just overtook her and then she was gone. So yeah, unfortunately, um, bagel is my only goldfish now. Um, I don't have any plans to get any more goldfish at the moment just because he's doing so well. Now in the last four years, I've had three goldfish and I, now I'm down to one. So it's just heartbreaking. Every time I lose one, it just makes me so sad. And so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get any more for a while. Um, all of the other animals are doing really, really great. Um, I wanted to show you guys Blue and give you guys an update on him because he is doing really well and you guys ask to see him all the time. So I'm gonna go get him right now and show him to you guys. All right, so here is Blue. I just have a little napkin under him in case he pees. He's also a little bit dirty, but here is Blue. <laughs> You guys have asked to see him so many times. I've been seeing your comments and DMs on Instagram and on here. So I wanted to show you guys. Blue is doing so, so well. He has not grown an inch. Um, he's a little chunkier, but other than that, he hasn't grown. His shell still looks really, really good. He looks about the same um, as he always has, but yeah, there he is. Hope you guys can see him really well. But you guys have been asking to see him. You've been wanting an update on him. And so here he is in all his glory. We're putting him in this video. <laughs> he has been doing so well as uh, Koa has as well. Koa is doing well. My tarantula Ophelia is doing well. The hermit crabs are doing well. Um, my new little tarantula, which I showed you guys in a vlog, um, that tarantula is doing really well also. Um, she's actually molted 
twice since I got her. She already had a molt in there when I got her, so she's molted three times since that I know of since I got her. So she's doing really, really well. Getting pretty big. I think she's like this big now. Yeah, he's doing great. Koa's doing well. Also, um, he's a bit feistier and he bites. <laughs> so probably not gonna get Koa out, but Blue is here and he's a sweetheart and he's such a good boy. He's just the sweetest. Um, we took him outside so many times this summer. The weather was so good and he just absolutely loves it out there. So now that the weather's turning cooler, he's probably gonna go into a sleepy mode. He's probably gonna brewmate soon because it is getting colder outside. Um, so he's gonna be a lot less active, which really stinks because I always miss him when he goes down, but he's doing really, really well. Yeah, he's a good boy. All right, so let's see uh, what else is doing well. So the chickens are doing really well. All the babies that we raised in spring that you guys saw, they're all full grown now. Um, unfortunately, two of them did turn out to be roosters. And I say unfortunately because we cannot keep both of them. We're gonna have to rehome them. So <sighs> not sure how we're gonna do that or when we're gonna do that, but I am looking to rehome my two new roosters. They're silky roosters and they're so beautiful but I just have no need for two roosters, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Um, but they are doing really well. Milo and Dixie, the dogs, um, they're doing really good as well. Um, they're doing super well. The cats are doing good. Um, let's see, the ducks, active as ever. Um, they're around the property. We're actually gonna have to move them inside. Um, we were gonna put them in the chicken run for winter with a heat lamp, but they are just so aggressive to the chickens. They just attack them and chase them. And it's, <laughs> they're just little terrors. I don't wanna put them in the barn because it'll be cold in the barn for them, too cold, cause they can't fly. So they're not migrating ducks. They are like domesticated little Indian runners. So they will need heat. So we're gonna put them in the basement. We did it last winter and it worked fine. Um, it only, we only keep them in the basement for about three months. Um, it's usually about 12 weeks or so that we have to keep them in through the worst part of winter. Um, usually when it's down below freezing. Um, Honey is gonna be in the barn, my new horse. Um, she is gonna be in the barn. We have a stall all set up for her for winter. So she's gonna do really well. And then um, when there's sunny, warmer, cold days, um, obviously we're gonna just be letting her out. And she can stay in the barn, go in her stall, or be out in the paddock. So she'll have full realm of wherever she wants to go. But she's already getting her winter coat. So she's super fluffy. So she'll do fine with it, I'm confident. And um, oh, this mess. So this is something that Patrick and I are doing and we are so excited about I know I'm all over the place with these updates but there's just so much going on so one thing Patrick and I have been doing is chopping wood um, we actually had a really bad storm that knocked down a huge tree and it was like a huge uh, maple tree that was super old and so we've been cutting up wood for a few months now probably about three months um, or so. And we are going to be using that wood um, for our new wood stove. So we are actually getting a wood stove. These are the pipes. Um, this is all supplies. There's more supplies. That's a box that goes in the attic. Like there's so much. Um, I've actually been filming some of this and I'm gonna sh kind of maybe put this together in a video. If, if you guys are interested in that, um, if you wanna see a video on our wood stove and installing it and what it looks like, how to use it, maybe cooking on it, cause it is a cook stove. So um, it does have a oven for baking and then it has a huge stove top with multiple eyes for cooking. So I'm really excited about that. We're putting it over here in the living room. Um, we have a pretty large living room and we don't use this side over here for anything. All of our living furniture is on this side. So we're actually putting it on a big hearth right here on this wall and uh, it's a brick hearth and it's beautiful. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. That stove should be here next week. So really, really soon it's coming quick and that's gonna be really exciting. And we did a vegetable garden this year. We did get a lot of tomatoes and bell peppers, but unfortunately that is all that it produced for us. Um, <laughs> it really wasn't a great vegetable garden. So what we didn't realize when we did it, hi sissy. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. So what we didn't realize with the vegetable garden was just using like garden soil is not good enough. You really need to use compost and we didn't have any compost. We do now. We have built a compost. It's a, it's like, I think it's about eight months old now. Um, we have a huge compost. We've also been putting manure in it. So next year's garden is going to be 
well, the goal is for it to be amazing. So, um, yeah, this year we actually had our garden for like four months before it produced a single tomato. And one day after I was really angry at the garden because it was like four months of watering it and the plants were literally not growing. My bell pepper plant was this big for four months in the sun. Like it was like May, June, it was like June and there was nothing happening. So one day I got really angry at the garden that we spent a lot of time and effort and money on and Patrick was like do you care if I just throw some old horse poop on it and I was like no go for it I don't care if it dies it dies I mean it's not producing anything anyway um, we literally had gotten one tomato in four months of watering I mean come on now so I was over it and I obviously won't use fertilizers like you know chemicals and stuff no um, we do everything pretty organic here we don't use pesticides on the property nothing I'm just really weird about chemicals I don't like chemicals um, so we um, just weren't getting no production no vegetables out of it so Patrick was like do you care if I throw horse manure on it because there's a ton of horse manure in our barn <laughs> like old horse poop in the stalls there's just tons of it because our barn is it's like a seven stall barn, I think seven or eight. I think it's seven stalls and one of them's a birthing stall. So it's just like this massive, like, I don't know. It's just a lot, but it's all full of poop. So he, um, he took the poop out and he dumped it on the garden and the tomatoes exploded and the bell pepper. It just within like two weeks, I think we had like seven or eight uh, tomatoes popping up and we had like four bell peppers growing within like two weeks of throwing poop on it. So next year, we're putting horse poop everywhere. We're putting horse poop everywhere next year. So the whole garden is just gonna be covered in compost and manure and we're really excited about that. So stay tuned for that garden for next year. Um, but yeah, I think that is all the updates for the property. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you're still here, I really appreciate it. Let me know down below if you have any questions about anything I talked about. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Be kind, bye.